Hey everybody, it's Lo, and welcome back to my channel, Lo Without Limits. In this video, I'm going to share with you a weekend in my life. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. A while back, I did like a poll and some questions on my Instagram of like what kind of videos you guys like to watch and want to see from me. And a few people responded with vlogs, which I was just like, my life is so boring. Like I'd be like, and today I did the exact same thing that I did every other day. This weekend I actually am doing some things. So today's Saturday and I'm going to go home to my parents later because I'm actually doing a pop-up tomorrow for my small business rain at rain every day on Instagram in Yorba Linda. So I figured they're closer to that than I am. So it'd be easier to like go there from their place and plus like they have a chairs and table and all the stuff that I need for the pop-up. So I'm gonna go there this evening, run some errands with my mom, see my friend who's in town. She's been living in DC, but she's been here for like the last week. So I figured while I'm there, I'll see her too. But before that, I've been like running around. I feel like I'm slightly out of breath because I've been like watering the plants and like misting them downstairs, watering them up here. And again, we use the app Planta to keep track of all of them. There are seven more tasks that need to be done, but they're kind of like Austin's plants. I don't know what Austin deal with Austin's plants. The fiddly fig, as much as I claim it as my own, I'm a plant person that was kind of crazy and I made him crazier so I'm just like I let him deal with the big fancy ones because that I am a little out of breath haven't had my coffee yet though because I do want to meditate and do some to be magnetic right now before I sit down with my coffee and read I also want to before like sitting down and reading get gas want to do that and then pick up some of our pottery from all of our pottery classes we glazed it last week so it should be ready today so I want to do that while he's gone he's currently getting a haircut because we have tandem parking spaces so I thought while he's gone I should leave with my car because it's behind versus him coming back and then do that whole little swap thing. I'm gonna try to do that before he's back, but I do wanna meditate first. And then pack up my stuff, get all my product and everything ready in, in my car, and then go home in the afternoon. So yeah, that is it. I figured this is a bit more of an exciting weekend than usual, doing a pop-up. That'll be fun. And I'm seeing a friend. Big moves on my part. Such a clear day. I'm not sure if you can really tell but I love driving down the street when it's a clear day. Last week, I got the first three pieces that I glazed that I had glazed a week before, even though one was oxidation, because they do the regular reduction firing like a couple times a week, I think, and only oxidation every few weeks. And then last week, I glazed another three that I had, and I can only find two of them. So this one, I really liked, and it was gonna be like a nice little like bold dish, but when I was trimming the bottom, I went too deep, so I had to like patch it up, and now it's just gonna be a planter. I figured like a shallow one, maybe with some succulents, and then I did like a black. I wanted it to be more of like a matte black, and then this on the edge, I did like a pinkish layer glaze, so it would like drip down a bit. I don't know if you can like really tell, but it kind of dripped just to give it like a little bit of a sheen. That came out cute. This one was an oxidation and I did copper and then I think just like a clear crackle and I was hoping they would like blend in more because I have this other one that I did that was oxidation that was copper and this rutile pink and the way that they like blended and mix like all the colors look so cool. So I was hoping to get that again with this one and the colors just didn't blend the same it's just like okay that's even why i like did the copper on the edge and then put the clearish one on the inside and then a bit more copper I even tried like mixing them around thinking like they would like blend and kind of like melt together in the kiln and it just did not happen so there's that not my fave and then this one was austin's it was a bowl and he tried going a little too big fell over as he was doing it but he's like oh, i'll just keep doing that and it'll be like our dining table centerpiece so he did bluish gold on the outside and then clear on the inside and mom's gonna be like austin's is so good and then i don't know where my third piece is i was looking so long and i was just like at what point do i stop looking and just like come back next week and i can try to look for it again i think i used sandy's green because i wanted to use a rebay which is like a dark green brown kind of mix and they didn't have that glaze last week for some reason so i ended up going with a different green so i know it's green i think or amber, which is like a yellowy, like butterscotchy kind of color. Either way, couldn't find it. So I just left my apartment before I left. So when I got back from gas and pottery today, I came back in Austin and gone to Bread Block because who he goes to see to get his haircut just opened up his own place right next to his new place is this gluten-free, like everything's gluten-free. And a lot of stuff is also vegan bakery. So he got two pumpkin muffins and I ate some little egg 
things from Imperfect Foods just so I could have like a little bit of protein before going hard on the carbs. And I had that muffin and it was so good. Before and after my like, lunch of the egg muffins and pumpkin muffin. There's so many muffins today. I was doing a little bit of studying. So in one of my videos, I mentioned that if I got a full-time job, I was going to sign up for personal training courses. And I was also gonna like use that money from the full-time job to save up to do some UCLA extension courses so I can get a certificate in sustainability and food justice, even though my career goal is to make documentaries and that's what I'm like super passionate about is like sharing information. Getting the CPT is something that I've also always wanted to do and then through the program NASM, they also have a nutrition certification. So after I do the personal training one, which I've been in two and a half days, I've gone through like three chapters, can definitely like finish it by the end of the year, I think. And then I would do the nutrition one, also self-study, that way it's just cheaper. And then ideally by that point, I have a full-time job to where I can do the UCLA extension courses because that's something I'm super passionate about and it's just like one a quarter. But I did not get that full-time job, which I know I'm gonna go home and my mom's gonna ask me about, which I'm super bummed about, but I'm not bummed because it was like, oh my God, dream job. I'm more so bummed because I just like, I'm over being freelance and I want a job with a higher title instead of just AP. And I also just like want a full-time job in order to save more and to be able to take these courses and do all these things that will benefit me and my career in the long run. So I'm not bummed that I didn't get that job in particular. Something more aligned shall come and I'm still like applying to things and like putting myself out there and doing little gigs and like freelance stuff in the meantime one day. I figured even though I didn't get that full-time job, there was a cheaper version of the certified personal trainer courses and I'm also paying in monthly installments too. So it's actually like super affordable and really nice and easy. So I figured what's stopping me? I have the time being freelance more so than I would with a full-time job. So nothing's stopping me. I'm just gonna go for it and do it. I don't necessarily wanna work at a gym. Again, like I wanna do docs and to me, health and wellness, sustainability, fitness, like all that's intertwined in terms of like living a healthy life. I would love for like nutrition to be easily accessible and for these things, like I just, want to help and I feel like through education that's how I can present my skills but also like having these certifications would be like really beneficial in terms of just building that and like building a network and building my like I don't know just kind of like going against my imposter syndrome in order to do so and be able to teach people from like a reputable source being myself instead of just like I know all these things and I've studied all these things and I read all these things in the meantime but just kind of having that certification I feel like would benefit me and like make me a bit more credible and in turn like can help me educate people and do all these things through docs in order to inspire because I just feel like fitness, nutrition, health, wellness, sustainability, like environmental sustainability, environmental justice, food justice, like all that is intertwined and ugh, I don't know. I don't even know how to like put it into words. I'm just like very passionate about it and I just want to like scream that passion at the top of my lungs and make docs but I need opportunities too and things are hard. Anyway, that's my little rant. Now I'm on my way home and there's a little bit of traffic, but it says it's only gonna take me an hour, which is nice. So I'm just gonna listen to some podcasts, listen to Doctor's Pharmacy and yeah, I think that should actually last while I'm home because it's like an hour and a half long. I'm home, ready to go with all this stuff. I found these underneath my and my sister's bathroom cabinet. So I'm gonna use those to display and I like that they have chalk so I can write on them. And then got some craft paper bags because at the last pop-up I did not have paper bags and people bought like multiple things and I was like I'm sorry I don't have a bag for you or anything or just that was so last minute like didn't have any so I finally got paper bags and I put the rain sticker on it it's my sign since I don't have a tablecloth with like branding which I need to get but they're like all sold out and just like hard to find and I couldn't get it in time anyway so need to get one of those for now. I'm just using that chalkboard and hopefully the wind doesn't knock it down. I'm gonna go to Target and get a white tablecloth just to like have something over the table. But yeah, need to get a custom one soon. It is a little after 6 p.m. now. So at four is when my mom and my sister were gonna like wash up really quickly before we went to Target. But we finally went at like five, did that run really quickly, got an Instant Pot air fryer lid. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I was looking at like air fryers, but I want like an air fryer toaster oven combo, just so that way it's not like two devices. And I would just get rid of my old 
toaster oven but instead I like cleaned up my old toaster oven and I think we're just gonna keep that because it's so small and like all the air fryer toaster oven combos are like really big to where they would take up a lot of counter space we don't have like a ton of counter space for cooking so we kind of like didn't want to give up a lot so we're deciding to keep the toaster oven and then I just got the lid that goes on my instant pot it does like air frying and dehydrating and it's just a lid so I already made cabinet space for it in the same cabinet that I keep the instant pot in it just gives my instant pot which already has like seven uses and like can be used for so many things like even more uses which is really cool with like just a lid and I figured like one day we'll like move again maybe have more counter space and at that point then we can upgrade to like the Breville air fryer toaster oven which is like three hundred dollars so definitely a bit more expensive but it would be like a good thing to have at some point when we have more space that we can dedicate to it so i'm excited to try that out my mom called it my christmas present which i'm totally fine with because all i want for christmas is lasik uh but i don't think that's gonna happen this year now it's six and i'm on my way over to a greek restaurant to see my friend before she flies back to dc i'm excited to see her i love sarah sarah if you're watching this i love you so I just got back to my parents from dinner. It was like getting kind of late and I need to drive home with some energy and I still have to like pack up my car and take a shower. So we walked to Starbucks and I got an espresso shot and it was really bad. It just tasted burnt. Like now that I'm like good on coffee, other coffee's just not that good. Packed up and ready to go for the morning. My load in time is 8.45 to 9, but it doesn't start until 10. So I don't have a pop-up tent, we need to we needed a white pop-up tent and my parents only have blue and black and nobody I know have this white. I've asked multiple people and they only have like blue or black. Because of that, I feel like it won't take me super long to set. It's also like straws, so it's not like I have like a million products. So it shouldn't take me too long. I don't have a pop-up tent. The person who is like in charge of putting on this pop-up was like, we'll put you in like a shaded area. And I looked at the map and I'm in a spot next to like the parking garage and like the food trucks and everything. So I really enjoy that spot. Like I think it'll be really good because it's where people are gonna like park and like walk past me and then maybe like walk around maybe get some food truck and like see me a second time and then by the time they're leaving they'll see me for like a third or fourth time and business tip it takes like on average three times of a person seeing and like recognizing a brand before they decide to make that like purchasing decision i feel like being in that location where i'm gonna have like a lot of like people looking like multiple times while i'm there because i don't have a pop-up tent i think it's gonna like work in my favor so Super excited. Day is Sunday, it is pop-up day. So I left my parents at like 8.15. So we got here and I have the setup. I have everything. This time I'm doing keep cups. Last time I did not put the keep cups out just because I didn't have a ton. But if I sell these, then that will give me enough to get more inventory in time for the holidays. We'll see how those do in person. And it's a little after 9.30. It starts at 10 and it goes to 3 p.m. By the time I'm like packed up back at my parents, I'll probably be four. So I'll probably be back at my apartment around like 6 or 6.30. The pop-up, not as well as I hoped it would. It wasn't that it was slow and like people got like through an email and the Instagram and followed it on Instagram and got yeah, the website and whatnot but I only broke even. I also got name recognition, but at that point, like I might as well have just like given away product for free, like in a giveaway, if I was gonna like not profit off of it. So that sucked. Thankfully, it wasn't like as hot as it was gonna be and just like the spot wasn't as good and it was like right next to a juice place, which was like, oh cool, like, can get their straw and like get juices but did not happen or like people got their juices and we're like oh yeah that's cool and then like moved on so it just ended up being like slower than i thought i don't know and i was like really excited for your belinda because it is like a higher paying area i like, thought like okay like they'd be willing to spend a bit more but it's also a neighborhood that in the most polite way possible um doesn't necessarily believe in climate change so definitely a harder crowd to break into in comparison to like other parts of orange county and definitely in comparison to la where people are like oh yes plastic's bad i don't know if like that could be why it was just like location but more people were interested in the halloween snow globe with a skull that i borrowed from my mom and used for like decor to like dress up the table so it wasn't just boxes of straws people were like how much is this how much are you selling this that for i'm like i don't know go to home goods and get it like my mom got it at home goods and i stole it from my mom so that was interesting but broke even which just like okay in terms of like i'm not in this and like i'm not starting rain because i want to make money like i'm not in this for money i came into my car one so i could talk because austin was in the shower so that was loud and if he hears me talking to myself he'll know it's like 
for this, but I'm also like still very like weird about this around him for some reason. Definitely something I should get over. But also because my car key, it's push to start and it like my car keeps saying no key and I literally have the key right here. So I've been like trying to charge it. I'm not in it for the money. Like that's not, I'm like I'm in it to help. And like the thing is that like you need money to do so. Like I need to make money so I can have more products and reach more people and more options for things so they could do eco-friendly and like sustainable stuff in different ways. But it's like, I need money to get those products. So I need to like make money so I can get things, to help people make everyday eco-friendly. I need to get money so I can do these pop-ups. I need to make money so I can like do things and also like find local manufacturers, like everything. Cause I want to keep it like a closer supply chain. I'm not in it for the money, but at the same time, like for life or having successful business and like for doing what I want to do, even like for making docs in the future and for like helping, like I want to help and I just like want to help. I want to like do my best. And like, that's also why I'm interested in like nutrition, like all the stuff, like how I said yesterday, health, nutrition, wellness, fitness, sustainability, like it's all intertwined I want to create like urban gardens and like nutritional education for people in like lower income communities who are at a higher risk of developing like food related illnesses but it's like I need money to do that so it's hard because it's like we're, we're in a world where you need money and I'm not like in it, any of this for the money like I just literally just like want to help and like want everybody to like live better lives and I feel like a lot of this information and access to this should be free but that's just not the way our world works so yeah that's my like pickle of life but yeah my dad got us tacos so had some tacos watched an episode of you with my mom even though I was watching it with Austin but what he doesn't know doesn't kill him because he doesn't watch this and then I got back here a little bit before seven Austin had finished a run right at the same time so he like helped me bring everything in we might get food those tacos were at like 4 35 so I'm like not starving anyway I also realized I'm really bad at vlogging because this is finally a weekend where I was like, oh, I'm doing things and I just, I don't know how to film things. And I'm also like weird about like bringing my camera out and being like, oh, it's gonna be a vlog even though I'm filming all this and telling you about all of that and I'm gonna have no second thoughts when I post it on the internet for people to realize that. Yet the act of actually doing it makes me slightly uncomfortable. I just like need to get used to that, I suppose. So this was a very subpar vlog that I should improve upon. But if you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you liked the vlog, if you want more of that, what else you want to see here on my channel. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe. I upload a new video every Wednesday. So until the next one, thanks for watching.